accessible workplaces are better workplaces. Yeah, we join Chrissy Van now, who's learning about a new program that aims to help employees gain employers rather gain confidence in their ability to support the unique capabilities of a diverse workforce that includes people with disabilities. In Canada, 50% of adults have either lived experience as people with disabilities or live with someone who has. To help make spaces more inclusive, it's important to get educated and understand the impact of accessibility in physical and digital spaces in the world around us. Brad McCann, Vice President of Access and Inclusion at Rick Hansen Foundation joins us to talk about an online course called Accessible Spaces 101, which is being done in partnership with PowerEd by Athabasca University. Good morning, Brad. Good morning. Happy to have you here. Now, when it comes to accessibility, there are often misconceptions. So can you speak a bit to that? The reality is it's about you, your family, and your mom. People with disabilities are the largest minority group in the world. and The only one that any of you can join in any moment, whether it's a twisted ankle on a set of stairs, a car accident, a medical issue, anything can happen at any time, and suddenly you're a member of my community. So what can people do to help make spaces more inclusive right now? You know, the idea of a, a single segregated counter down at the end of the bank where if you wait long enough, someone will notice you or coming in through the back door, it's just not access acceptable. Get educated. And this is where you mentioned earlier that the Rick Hansen Foundation has partnered with PowerEd by Athabasca to deliver an online course to help people and introduce them to this concept of accessibility and how it affects the whole community. Why is it particularly important for facility owners, leaseholders, and operators to make sure that they have this education? So from a business perspective, it only makes sense to make it accessible to them because I want you to want my money as much as you want anybody's money. Conference Board of Canada says that 57% of our community is unemployed. Well, that's right now, especially now when it's such a shortage of workers, accessible spaces mean you have access to that highly skilled, highly trained, and highly available uh, workforce. Well, I really appreciate you coming on here, Brad, and sharing with us this opportunity for people to further educate themselves on clearly a matter that we should all be paying very close attention to. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.